All right, cool. All right, so why do you have uh, Jaren above the Beerus? Oh, it because it's flat out stated that he's above all of the gods of destruction, which will be plural. He's only stated to be stronger than his god. The data books would give us extra information. So, like, why would the data book still be invalid? Mm, what did the data book say? I never checked out. I got you. Give me one second. I got you. Okay, make sure I'm getting the right stuff. We really got this like in a little folder. Where the fuck did it go? Here we go. Okay, cool. Oh, I keep having and losing these. So wait, here we go. Then I'm about to have the zoom up of it. Hmm. I mean, yeah, don't say that. But yeah, uh, okay, look at this manga panel. Not what are you talking about? Um, Topo states that uh, he's like stronger than Belmont. Yeah, no, it's not the manga panel. I'm gonna send you. It's a different one. Okay, as you can see on the bottom, uh, Beerus, uh, not Beerus, Goku said that Beerus is not someone he should mess with. And obviously, current manga, Goku is stronger than Beerus. Well, you know what Beerus just did, right? Yeah. Yeah, like he just blew up like a planet. So he just stayed in like Beerus' mindset. That doesn't mean that Goku is afraid. Like Goku is like, can't beat him. Mm -hmm. I mean, still, he did. He was literally, he looks very afraid and nervous. Yeah, because Beerus would just casually like blow up a planet from his perspective. He just saw him just aim at a planet and blow it up. That's like crazy. Like if I seen a dude just like stab a guy, I'd be like, oh shit, that dude's like fucking, that dude's off. Mm. I don't think yeah. that, like, entails that, like, Goku's like, oh, shit, I couldn't beat him in a fight. It's like, this dude is, like, Beerus is about his shit. Like, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah, um, I think it's even, like, wait, I think it's, like, two translations of that, too. Because it's another guy who, like, it's really, like, nice that you brought this up. Because it's another thing. I got to fight it, though. Right. See if I can get it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. If I can't find I'm gonna just drop it. I could have sworn it was just up. Mm -mm -mm. But basically it's like two different um like translations of like what Goku says in that scene. Alright. Yeah. If I can't find it, I'm just dropping it. That's just like taking too much work to look for it. I don't really know. I don't really got anything to say, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I could find that one. Oh, wait. Nope. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm not returning. <laughs> Woo! That would have been bad for me to bring that up and not be able to find it. Okay, so, like, if you know who Herms is, Herms is basically, like, a... That's, like, appeal to authority, but he's a credible source when it comes to his translations. He's, like, trusted. So, um, he has, like, two different iterations of it. Uh, one of it is, like, Lord Beerus, sure it's scary after all. Um, and then the other one is, like, Lord Beerus is not someone to mess with. Uh, so the original one, right, going from, like, the actual, like, Japanese translation from, like, what Viz translates it as, is basically just saying that, like, Beerus' personality is just scary. Not so much that, like, his power. Because why would Goku be impressed by Beerus blowing up a planet? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> like <laughs> Goku multiversal or something. Yeah, like, even if you, if you want to say that like, he's, like, like, not even universal, he's definitely solar system. So why would he be like, oh, shit, Beerus is fucking stronger than me off of blowing up a planet like i don't think the feat makes sense if we're trying to like say contextually it's him admitting like inferiority to beerus mm -hmm. and then like i can say if like you don't want to um agree with the data book of them stating that jaren's stronger on the gods right because you know maybe maybe you could say like the data book is miswording it or what it's supposed to mean is only referencing belmont then we can even get to that right so um in the manga all the gods are shown to be quite relative to one another and I can, like, present this, too. Uh, because they're actually, like, you know, they fight in the manga. And it's noted by the Grand yeah. Priest that if they hold back, they will be erased. So it's very safe to say that the Grand Priest would have knowledge of them holding back their power, right? Because if he literally is threatening to, like, erase them. He's being... It's nothing to doubt that he's, like, not being dead ass, right? It's not like he couldn't just bring them back or anything. We know, like, the Grand Priest is, like, kind of fucking haxiest dick. 
Yeah, it's broken. Yeah, and so Beerus fights um the elephant guy, right? Even if you want to say like none of the um like Belmont's weakest and etc. Right. So we have like uh, Beerus fighting the rest of the gods, and he's like struggling. We know that he clearly like has a battle with the elephant one. Uh, you can like see him beat him up, and like the rat guy, they're noted to like be equals to one another. And we know that like previous before this one, right? And the reason why I say all the gods are basically relative is because like before this, we have like Belmont capturing like all the gods in like a bubble. Let me see if I can find it. If yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a technique. Or- uh, yeah, and all, and if you like look at the scene, all of the gods are worried about the damage this would do to them. So it would be weird to say that Belmont wouldn't be threatening to them, right? If they're like, "Oh shit, we're caught." Otherwise, you'd be like, "We could just tank this." So I would say like all the gods show relativity. At least um, the gods like Belmont, Beerus, uh, the rat nigga, the elephant, and like um, the guy that the rat dude was fighting. They all would have to be like relative to one another because they all show feats showing that they could damage and hurt um, each other pretty easily. Um, of course, Beerus maybe being like on the higher end of that, if you want to like argue that. But we know at the end of the um, actual like God fight, Beltmont wasn't actually injured at all. He's like on the ground faking like he's injured, right? So this implies that like Beltmont was like kind of just faking it because maybe he had an inkling that it wasn't actually going to go anywhere serious, or maybe he just didn't want to waste his time having like a serious fight. Whichever one goes, but we know that like he's relative to these other characters. So Jiren being stronger than him would logically tell that he would be above the likes of someone like Beerus if he can hurt him, right? As long as he can hurt him, that's fine. Hurt him and capture him in, like, a bubble, right? It would speak to, like, his AP and durability. If you want to doubt, like, maybe speed, which I don't feel like is really that important because we see the gods being able to, like, capture Beerus and etc. This is a Beerus who is stated to be going all the way out. So I feel like it's safe to say that, you know, through all those showings and feats, the gods will have to have relative... Um, general stats to one another ignoring like their special abilities and then jiren scaling above these gods and just scaling above belmont would have him be like someone who can hurt and injure beerus and be someone who can actually still capture him also mm. so yeah i think yeah. like in the manga it's very much definite i think the anime is more loose like you can probably argue better with the anime than the manga yeah the anime is yeah i, I just like arguing with the manga better because i was more more content yeah yeah i think like in terms of like for this topic i think like the anime is easier to go off of right because i think in the anime it specifically stated is just belmont like specifically right so it's like more room to say like okay they're not talking about beerus which is like fine yeah like there is like a rumor uh, we says there's a rumor that the guy is stronger than god is talking he's referring to beerus yeah, I think many people argue that, like, um, through, like, winning the arm wrestling match, it makes Belmont and Beerus relative, and, I, and, like, and the manga keeps this consistent, too, and I would say, like, it's not faulty, because, like, we know, realistically, it's not like the rat dude, when he's like, oh, I beat your arm wrestling match, was, like, capping that he can actually, like, fight Beerus, because they do show, like, relativity to one another, like, they both are the last ones left, so I think, like, the arm wrestling match is somewhat of a good indication of an inkling um, and we know, like, Weiss flat out states that, like, uh, Belt Mine is a, a god stronger than Beerus. I don't feel like Weiss would have to lie on that. But I guess you could argue that, like, he's specifically, like, staying in physical strength. But I would say, like, physical strength would be important in the fight also, ignoring just, like, techniques. Maybe, like, because I know Beerus is like, that's not everything that a fight is about. But, you know, I feel like if I could punch you really hard and that shit hurt, then it's definitely important. But Beerus could, of course, be having, like, techniques and such that can circumvent being maybe not the strongest but of course we're not talking about like this hypothetical beers that could exist we're comparing like current feats and statements to other characters which is why i say like he still isn't someone that's stronger than mui currently in the future it could change though yeah when he shows more feats yeah i don't know i guess uh i don't really have anything to say you see where i'm coming from yeah yeah i mean i thought I thought, uh, what's his name, Beerus was stronger than Goku, because, like, Goku was, like, afraid of him. Well, you know, you, you convinced me that, obviously. Yeah, yeah that. Yeah, well, mm, so I guess Goku still remains stronger off of feats and statements. Yes, sir, yes, sir, until Beerus gets, like, that inevitable. I think he will, like, eventually have, like, a moment where, you know... It's no, it's no, like, ambiguity. I think it's going to be just flat out, like, yeah, Beerus is still stronger. <laughs> like, I, I don't think they're having him, like, get hyped up like this to be trash and weak. They're definitely hyping him up to be, like, 
impressive in the verse. They have to. So, like, in the future, I'm going I'm to for sure be like, oh, yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> they, they got that nigga up there. But until then, Team Goku. Yeah. I hope in the next manga chapter, see something for him. Yeah, I'm hoping they put, like, Broly in there, right? Because it's supposed to be, like, Granola going after the Saiyans and Frieza. I hope Broly's in it. I think it'd be lame if he isn't. Yeah, Broly's... Yeah, because Granola will probably, like, track him, maybe, because he's a Saiyan. 